packed house at Shady Gator Saturday night for the Chris Jansen concert, and Lake TV was there. And Hot Summer Nights returned to the Strip Friday night, and Lake TV's Tyler Eversman has put together a killer video of that event. I'm Bob Spicer. And I'm Ashley Kyle, and this is the Lake of the Ozarks Weekly Report. And we're brought to you by Anchor, that's your friend with the boat. And by Sir Dyke Yamaha. We'll be back after these stories and more after this from Anchor.
Thanks for coming out to Hot Summer Nights. Boating Magazine has named the Lake of the Ozarks one of its top five spots in the United States to dock and dine. There are more than 60 lakeside restaurants sprinkled around the lake that are all accessible by land and boat. They feature a wide variety of food, entertainment, and amenities including pools with swim-up bars, beaches, pirate ships, live music, boat races, water slides, and impressive indoor and outdoor seating. At any of these unique restaurants, you are sure to have a great experience. For the 2018-2019 school year, the Eldon School District is going to be launching a new food program that provides a free breakfast served in the classroom to all kindergarten through eighth grade students. The Eldon School District has provided free breakfast to upper elementary students for several years. Superintendent Matt Davis says it's worked really well for them. Purpose behind serving to everyone in the classroom is to build a sense of community, to help build relationships when students arrive at school hungry. It's more difficult for them to learn and concentrate According to the Food Research and Action Center, students who eat breakfast at school perform better at standardized tests than those who skip breakfast and those who eat breakfast at home. How about that? Eating breakfast at school has been shown to improve behavior, grades, attendance, decrease errors, and improve memory. Astronaut 1987 School of the Osage graduate Colonel Michael Hopkins was awarded the Judge Albert P. Tuttle Distinguished Achievement Award at the 2018 Pi Kappa Alpha Fraternity International Convention. This award is presented annually to the fraternity's alumnus who has excelled the most in his vocation, profession, or field of public service. Colonel Hopkins' education, ROTC, and professional accolades are practically impossible to count. He attended the University of Illinois where he played football, belonged to the Air Force, ROTC, and graduated graduated with a Bachelor of Science in Aerospace Engineering and then a Master's in Aerospace Engineering from Stanford. In June 2009, he was chosen by NASA to be one of the 14 candidates in the 20th NASA astronaut class at the Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas and graduated from the program in 2011. He was a member of the Expedition 3738 crew and spent 166 days on the International Space Station where he conducted two spacewalks. Currently, Colonel Hopkins is a member of the new SpaceX Crew Dragon capsule. Coming up, Dance Floor Riot invades the Horny Toned Entertainment Complex. Vintage boats tie up at Naughty Cantina. And chances are holds their annual golf tournament for the cure. All that and Bob's No Wake Zone coming up after this from Sir Dyke Yamaha. Yamaha Boats, engineered for excellence. Powered by the gold standard Yamaha Marine Engines, the most reliable on the water. With spacious layouts boasting more usable space than competing boats and a total package of features at no additional cost. Now is the time to become a Yamaha boat owner. Yamaha, the number one brand on the water. Cerdak Yamaha's sales and service is now open seven days a week to help you have a summer to remember. Wait, don't launch your boat until you've checked all your safety equipment. Making sure you have everything to be in compliance with Missouri laws is very important so you have a great day out on the lake. You'll want to check your fire extinguishers, personal flotation devices for serviceability, size, and fit for each person. And they must be accessible, not under a seat or in a compartment. Navigation lights, sound producing device, your anchor and dock lines. File a float plan so your marina or family know what your plans are for the day. A simple form is available along with lots of great boating information from the United States Coast Guard. Go to uscgboating.org. Navigation lights are extremely important, even if you think you won't be out after dark. Things happen. The weather conditions could turn and cause conditions to get worse, which would make it unsafe to be out on the water. Boating safety videos are also available on the web. Boat US Foundation, the Missouri State Water Patrol, rentalboatsafety.com, just to name a few. We'd like to thank Surdike, Port 20, Marina, Boat Rentals, and Yacht Club for the use of their facilities. And I'd like to invite you to listen to Bob's No Wake Zone boating radio show Saturday mornings on News Talk KRMS. Watch for more safe boating tips from Captain Bob every week here on the Lake TV Weekly Report. On Friday, August 17th, from 8 p.m. to 1 a.m. in the morning, Dance Floor Riot's going to be live in concert at the Horny Toad Entertainment Complex. Dance Floor Riot is one of St. Louis's hottest local bands. You can check them out before their show at dancefloorriots.com. 
On Saturday, August 18th from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m., head down to the Naughty Cantina at Mermaid Cove in Gravoy Mills for the one day only in-water vintage boat show. This free and unique in-water boat show is sponsored by Outlaw Power Boats and features all different types of vintage boats. Awards will be given away in multiple categories. On Monday, August 20th at 10 a.m., chances are in Lari sponsoring their fifth annual golf tournament for the cure at Indian Rock Golf Course. Cost is 300 bucks per four-person team or 75 per individual. It includes a buffet meal, drink tickets, and multiple competitions like a hole-in-one, closest to the pin, longest drive, and longest putt. Other events and bonuses are still being offered. Come kick off a series of 30th Annual Lake of the Ozarks Shootout events starting with the Annual Mini Shootout on Saturday, August 18th from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. and on Sunday, August 19th from 9 a.m. to noon at Ha Ha Tonka Spring Cove. In this Mini Shootout, participants compete head-to-head -head racing remote control boats. And though these boats may be small, they are definitely still mighty with some reaching speeds over 100 miles per hour. This event features six different racing classes and a variety of events. Racing schedules are posted on the event's website. On Monday, August 20th from 5 to 9.30 p.m., take the whole family down to Captain Ron's. That's their great shootout treasure hunt. Fantastic prizes up for grabs, and all participants will receive a T-shirt from Lake Expo. All proceeds from ticket sales for this event will be donated to Kids Harbor and the Lake of the Ozarks Idiots Club, two local charity organizations dedicated to helping local children in need. The fun continues at Captain Ron's on Tuesday, August 21st from noon to 8 p.m. with their Shootout Beach Volleyball Tournament. Also on Tuesday is the Shootout Hall of Fame dinner and induction at the Stables at Cannon Smoke Saloon where current Hall of Fame members will welcome and honor new inductees. This event kicks off with a social hour at 6 p.m. That's followed by dinner at 7 and new inductees are going to be honored at 8.30. Head out to the Bagnell Dam Strip on Wednesday, August 22nd between 5 and 10 p.m. for the Shootout on the Strip Street Party and check out some of the Shootout's most impressive boats. This is a free event that the entire family will enjoy. On Thursday, August 23rd from noon to 4 on dock number 3, Captain Ron's going to be hosting Wish Upon a Ride Power Boat Rides presented by Oak Star. At this event, Power Boat Performance Boaters will be giving rides to children with serious illnesses and also to their families. On Friday, August 24th, Poly Lift and Lake Expo will be hosting their annual shootout poker run. Festivities for this event begin the night before from 4 to 9 p.m. at Performance Boat Center with a pre-registration and participant meet and greet and silent auction. The poker run kicks off on Friday at 8 a.m. with breakfast at Big Thunder Marine and ends with dinner and awards at Shady Gators. On Saturday, August 25th at 8.30 in the evening, Camden on the Lake will be hosting the Super Cat 4 Kids Live Auction. This auction benefits four local children's charities, including the Children's Learning Center, Kids Harbor, the Sharing and Caring Foundation, and Make-A-Wish Missouri. Some items being auctioned off are a custom boat wrap, gift certificate from Pro Designs, several trips including a Walt Disney World package that includes four one-day park passes as well as gift cards to use toward traveling expenses, a set of wet steps, a Honda dirt bike from YC Power Sports, custom boat memorabilia, and other items still being added to the auction block. And now for the main event on Saturday, August 25th and Sunday, August 26th, Captain Ron's will be hosting the 30th annual Lake of the Ozarks Shootout, sponsored by Performance Boat Centers. This event features more than 100 powerboat racers, racing at speeds in excess of 200 miles per hour, and attracts about 100,000 spectators, making it one of the biggest unsanctioned boat races in the Midwest. Funds raised will benefit the Lake Area Rescue Teams and other charities. That's about it for this week's weekly report. We'll see you next time. And and don't forget to keep up with us on all that social media and... MyLakeTV.com. And by the way, is the uh, fair still going on this week? Yeah, state fair still going on. I'm going this weekend. See you there, maybe? Maybe. <laughs> we'll see you next time.